This is the second video in the MySQL Database Access Python 3 tutorial from Tutorials Point. In this video, I will show you how to connect to the database and confirm that your connection exists. But first, I'm going to read a boring part, which is I'm going to start from the top here. I'm going to read all the way down to where we start database connection. I'll leave a link in this video so you can go ahead and jump through if you don't want to listen to this. First, the Python standard for the database interfaces is the Python DB API. Most Python database interfaces adhere to this standard. You can choose the right database for your application. Python database API supports a wide range of database servers such as Gadfly, MSQL, MySQL, PostgreSQL, Microsoft SQL Server 2000, Informix, Interbase, Oracle, Sybase, SQLite. Here's the list of available Python database interfaces, Python database interfaces and APIs. Go ahead, click on the link, test it out, make sure it works. Good, it works. You must download a separate DB API module for each database you need to access. For example, if you need to access an Oracle database as well as a MySQL database, you must download both the Oracle and the MySQL database modules. The DB API provides a minimal standard for working with database, databases using Python structures and syntax wherever possible. This API includes the following. Importing the API module, acquiring a connection with the database, issuing SQL statements and stored procedures, and closing the connection. Python has a built-in support for SQLite. In this section, we will learn all the concepts using MySQL. MySQL DB module, a popular interface with the MySQL, is not compatible with Python 3, which is the current version we're using. Instead, we will use PyMySQL module. So, what is PyMySQL? PyMySQL is an interface for connecting a MySQL database server from Python. It implements the Python database API version 2.0 and contains a pure Python MySQL client library. The goal of PyMySQL is to be a drop-in replacement for MySQL DB. How do I install PyMySQL? Before proceeding further, you make sure that you have PyMySQL installed on your machine. Just type the following in your Python script and execute it. So import PyMySQL. If it produces the following results, then it means PySQL or it means MySQL DB module is not installed. <coughs> the latest stable release is available on PyPy and can be installed from pip. If you're on a Linux or Mac environment uh, and you've already installed pip, you're going to need to make sure that you type the word sudo in front of pip install pymysql. Otherwise, you'll get a you'll might likely get an error or a rights error, privileges error. If you're on a Windows environment, make sure that you're in the admin of either the command prompt, bash, or PowerShell. Alternatively, if pip is not installed, a tarball can be downloaded from GitHub, which we will make sure to see if this link works. Yes, it does. And installed with setup tools as follows. Note, make sure you have root uh, privileges to install the above module. Exactly what I just said. Now for the database connection. Before connecting to the MySQL database, make sure you have the following points. You have created the database, test DB, check. You have created a table, don't worry about this at the moment, so the table, nothing about the table needs to be done. You've created a user called test user and a password, set it to test123, and you've given them the access, as we've done in the previous video, to test DB. You've installed the Python module PyMySQL which we haven't done and I'll show you in a second how to do that in the PyCharm environment. And you've gone through the MySQL tutorial on how to use the MySQL basics. Not necessary, not required, but a good thing to know when you're manipulating a database is to how to use MySQL or at least query language. So come on over here. We're going to go over to the tutorials point and then we're going to click on PyCharm Community Edition 
we're going to go to File, Default Settings. In the Project Interpreter, if it's not selected, go ahead and select it. Click on the plus button for install. Type pi mysql. Go ahead and install this package. Once it's installed, go ahead and close that out. Notice that pi mysql has been added. Next, what you're going to want to do, it's not required, but it's a nice thing to do so that it recognizes the uh, modules we've downloaded. Go ahead and restart PyCharm. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've restarted. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to copy the example that's provided below and we're going to paste that into a new file that we're going to create in our directory or package. I'm going to call it DB Connect because that is exactly what we're going to do is we're going to connect to the database. So then I go ahead and I paste this in, I save it and then I want to run it to see if it actually connects. So we have our local host, our test user, our password, and our database name. Wait, we got an error. What's the matter? Well, I looked around on the internet for a while, and that's honestly something quite simple. So let's get rid of this import pi mysql. If I press space and I start typing pi, notice that it actually has to be lowercase when you're importing a module or package. So go ahead, get rid of that, and then replace this with lowercase as well and then if we rerun it we get an output saying you've successfully connected to whatever database you're running I'm at 10.1.21 go ahead and continue with the next video